Do you remember that I told you that you can get access to your database, your Postgres database, directly by a connection string or through this here, this UI of Superbase? I would like to talk to you about this new feature, which is the connect pop-up here on the Superbase instance. So if I click here on connect, I can see that I got some kind of helper tutorial that help me to connect to my project. And there's a lot of different ways to get access directly to Superbase. Because you don't want your backend as a service to live alone. You want your backend as a service to uh, actually um, distribute the data, um, to receive queries, and just to do some operation, computations and stuff, okay? So here we got a, uh, here this connect to your project tutorial that helps you to basically connect directly your mobile application, your front-end application, your back-end application, your IoT directly to this Superbase instance, okay? So what we're going to do, we are going to um, take a look at how we can connect to our project. So the first thing is that we got different tabs here. We got the connection strings, we got the app framework, the mobile framework, and the ORMs. So let's start with the connection string. As I told you, you can get access to your Superbase, um, to your Postgres instance directly in the terminal. We are going to make a demonstration after. Okay, so here we can see that we can just copy paste that to get a direct connection and we get access to the Postgres terminal. Otherwise, we can also get access to the transaction pooler. Okay, so basically here it says that it's ideal for stateless application like serverless function. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so depending on what you want to do, either you are going to choose the transaction pool pooler, either you are going to use the session pooler. Okay, so which is cool is that you get directly um, uh, here, you, you can copy paste directly the command. It's really cool. So we got different type of access to Superbase. We got the URI, the PSQL, the Golang, the .NET. I know there's a lot of uh, .NET people in my community. And you got also the Node.js. So here, basically, if you want to do a backend, you can directly connect to the backend of Superbase this way by installing Postgres and then get access through a db.js or ts file. And then you got to follow this tutorial and it's going to work. If you are on .NET, it's exactly the same. You can directly here choose the type of connection, install the following package, and then you get access to directly your instance. On Python, this is exactly the same. So here we can see that it's really cool because we get a tutorial for every type of connection string. Okay? The primary database for now is just the only uh, solution we got. Um, we're going to see that after. Depending on you are doing your app on the front end or the back end, you can get also access through this app framework tab. And here we can choose Next.js, Remix, React, Nuxt, Vue, Svelte, Solid, okay? And we have here all the files that we can copy paste directly inside our project to be able to use Superbase, okay? So we can see here that I got uh, my next Superbase URL, my Anon key that I will change, of course, after this course. And then here we can see that I got some example to follow um, actually the tutorial. If I'm on Nuxt, it's exactly the same. Okay, we can see that we got the code that we can copy paste. And if I'm on Svelte, I got exactly the code that I need to. Okay, if you are on mobile, it works exactly the same on Expo, on Flutter, okay, on Ionic React, or for example, on Ionic Angular here, we can see that we got all the piece of code we need. And finally, we got the ORM connection. You got Prisma and Drizzle. Me, I'm a huge fan of Drizzle. We can see that we got directly the ORM that helps me to uh, work with my uh, users that we got here and the index in here, okay? So whatever you want to do, if you want to connect directly Superbase, you can click up here on connect and you got all these tutorials that are here to help you.